Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I know I've been gone for a while, but that's what happens when there's a Steam sale. You get caught up in playing so many different games. Welcome to Las Vegas. But I promise to all of you right now, I will finish this Let's Play, so let's get started. If I remember correctly, this is the Silent Assassin run of House of Cards, so we're gonna run straight in here. And I got a confession to make. I was trying to do a more interesting suit-only run-through, but... Well, to be honest, I kept messing up, and... I got a little frustrated, got a little bored with the stage, so I'm gonna leave up... I'm gonna leave the more interesting, uh... Suit-only run to Man with the Hat, if he's still up to doing it. Oh, street magic. You know, when I think of street magic, I don't think of a guy with a uh, a lamp. You know, I don't I don't think of Aladdin. I think of like Chris Angel or uh, I don't know someone on the sidewalk, uh, Texas Connie, hmm. and the Desert Roses. You know, this picture here looks drawn. You know, it's an illustration, whereas the other one looks like they took uh, Clint Eastwood and like messed around with a photograph of him when he was younger. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. At least that's the way it looks like to me. It looks like they modified an image of Clint Eastwood from the good, the bad, and the ugly or something like that. That's gross. Nice mustache, by the way. I don't think you're making it any better by rubbing that slime into it, though. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Alright. That was just killing time, to be honest, because... Sure, every one of you guys who played the game know the easiest way to kill these two, well, the guy who's about to arrive and another guy, um, is to kill them in the elevator. It's cheap, it's easy. Like I said, if you want to see a more interesting run, well, go go see someone else. Or better yet, go play it yourself. I think this game's only like 10 bucks on Steam, so. I'm the kind of man who gets what he wants. Oh, God. Not cute. Ugh. <laughs> Psycho killer pickup artist techniques. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of this. I read in the news about this pickup artist called the Gun Witch. And uh, he used a lot of metaphors, I think, about shooting women when he was picking them up or something like that. And he actually ended up shooting a woman in the head. Um, he got drunk and got upset and just took out his gun, the gun he always carried along with him, and actually shot her in the head with it. So. There's that, yeah. Okay, gonna kill him. You know, Gun Witch kind of sounds like an anime. Is that an anime? Or maybe the Gun Witch was a big anime fan. You know, I, I know a lot of pickup artists are kind of nerdy. Okay. But who am I to talk? I'm a huge nerd, right? I'm doing a fucking Let's Play. Okay. That's quite an expression. He's like, huh? What did you say? Huh? Alright, you gotta be careful jumping down from the elevator. Um, in the stage, or really any stage, because if you land wrong, you will take damage. And, uh, on professional, you take a lot of damage. I mean, you can lose almost all of your health. Okay, doing a little spin for good luck. Now on the stage, there's a lot of cameras down by the casino floor, so you gotta be careful when you're running down there. Otherwise, you gotta try to steal a tape, which, as I'm sure for you guys who've seen the last video, it's... Kind of difficult, so I'm gonna sneak in here, and I'm not done with the stage yet, but I want to just put this suitcase here so I don't have to carry it around, and uh, huh. Well, our limo's going to be here, but it looks like the brake lights are the only things that have made it so far. <laughs> They're just floating there in space, so we're gonna come back later when our, when our limo has arrived. I'm gonna head back up here. And our next target is going to wander into the other elevator, and we will... Hey, actually, you know, he hasn't gone to the elevator yet. Let's just run down here and see what he's up to. Why not? I'd like to show you the casino floor, but there's a lot of cameras, and I don't feel like... Ah, oh, here he is. Um, let's see if we can speed him up a little bit. Hey, pay attention! Ah. Oh. Alright, um... Ugh, oh my god, you are ugly, my friend. Um... What was I going to say? Alright, oh, sometimes throwing coins can get him to speed up. Other times it causes him to s just sneer, you know? 
I guess the trick to using a coin is you gotta wait for them to get to their designated spot, and then and then they'll speed up. If you throw it while they're walking to a location, all it does is slow things down. So for that, I apologize. Um, don't think there are any cameras in here. Okay, is he gonna go to the bathroom or is he gonna go up to the elevator? Let's see. Okay, yes, he's walked past the elevator. So now we can hurry along and head up to the elevator that he's going to. Oh, there's the camera. I gotta be very careful about that. Anyway, gotta head up to that elevator and wait for him like an angel of death uh, floating above, ready to strangle him. Open this. There's no way, as far as I know, to close the door without sending the elevator up or down. So we gotta wait for the elevator to close. Don't want to see anyone. Don't want anyone to see us climbing up. Now there's the sheik. So it's also important to kill a little time because when we go to the scientist suite, uh, we want to use that cell phone to get the sheik alone. Um, you know, we don't we don't have to wait or around or whatever. Nope. Okay, and I thought I had this sh strangling wire. I actually took out the coin, so here we go. You know, whenever I do these playthroughs or these stages, I always try to do it in the smoothest way possible with the least amount of backtracking, so it's not boring to watch. I'm gonna take his card, because we'll need that to get into his room easily. And that cop isn't fucking with us, because we got our ID, our card. I'm gonna head down here to Mr. Adolf Jr.'s room. And you know what's in there. It's the briefcase. This level's just chock full of briefcases, huh? Okay. This is our ticket into the VIP area. Um, I was actually wrong before. You don't have to dress up as the, uh, the white supremacist. All you need is the case. Um, so, yeah. That saved me some time. You know, learning, learning new things about this whole thing all the time. This game. All right. So, hey, buddy, how's it going? Uh, does it look like I have something that belongs to you? Maybe? No? No? Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, oh, we'll slow down there. Okay. I'm gonna run down here now. <laughs> We're gonna run down this hall and I'm gonna walk in here and uh what? Oh shit, whoa, is that a gun? Oh my god. Oh, these guys are packing heat. We gotta do something about that. I gotta distract them. How are we gonna do that? Well we can pull this alarm here. And surprisingly, I didn't realize this, but they don't aggro on you for doing that. They just assume that you know about some kind of fire that's happening around the corner that they haven't seen yet. And I guess that's why they don't get angry when you pull the fire alarm right in front of them. So, our friend the Sheik here can't use his cell phone in the, in the casino because there might be cheating going on. That's what you, as you guys already know. Oh god, look at them. They're all running around. So many people in the same place. You know, that really gives me a few ideas for, uh, for the terrorist run coming up soon, hopefully later this week. You know, I, I I have this crazy idea in my head that I get this game finished by the end of the year. So by January 1st, it'll be 100% complete. Um, I don't know if I really have a time for that. We'll see. So I'm gonna run back in here. Now our chic friend is alone. It's very lonely. We gotta keep him company. Gonna run down here and oh, oh, hold on a second. I just put a mine on my uh, my briefcase. Yeah. Fundraiser for the senator next week. Oh boy. I have to search you, sir. Okay, fine. Search away, my friend. Nice hat, by the way. Thanks. You're all set. Okay. Thank you. We don't want this asshole looking at us. Turn around. Okay, good. We're gonna run in here, and oh, the bar is still yellow. I guess someone saw us because you know. Um, oh, here he is, and prepare to die, my friend. Prepare to get choked. 
Choke, choke, choke. Like I was saying, uh, 47 isn't allowed back here? You know, only staff, I guess, or maybe Henrik Schmutz or whatever his name is is allowed back here. So if a servant or a waiter, whatever, sees you, he'll chase after you, and then you won't be alone with the Sheik. And that's terrible. But fortunately, none of that happened. So now all we have to do is just run back outside where our limo's waiting for us and our briefcase full of blood diamonds. So, uh, let's gonna head out here. There we go. And, uh, oh, there's our limo, not just the brake lights. I love money. Yes, I do. I really love money. Look at those stars. Since when can you see that many stars in the city? I mean, I can't see that many stars in Boston. Jesus. All right, so a whole lot of zeros. Silent Assassin, 10 minutes and 34 seconds. Not the most exciting run through, but I'm pretty proud of it. And we got 6.3 million bucks. No, it's the same old newspaper, but uh, I want to take a closer look at uh, at the Sheik here. You know, he really looks like uh, that guy from the, the riverboat, doesn't he? I mean, look at him. He's got the same exact face. You know, I'm thinking that guy just pretended to be dead. And, and he's just trying to live a life as a, as a billionaire. Well, anyway, that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'll see you next time.